I'm gonna record inside OBS Studio as I'm streaming. It's a uh, okay. So folks, here we got a uh, the concept. I've made this concept uh, still experimental, but it works indeed for certain cases very clearly. It's the anatomic shape key. It's a constant shape key that, yeah, here is ugly, but if we let it, uh, let's say that, that, that is worked in the, as a way to uh, get an anatomic complex shape, like a morph, through a morph, so through a shape key. That is not the basis. The basis is, for example, a very regular mesh. For example, in the Universal Sonic Melt rig, we have the lips modeled just like that, something like this. Uh, and you see how regular it is. More than that, you see that in the character design here, if you look from a front view, it looks like, like that it is. Right? It is angular. Oh, that is, this is angular, clearly. But this is an illusion, because, in fact, it is mostly straight. And it can be, uh, right, it just needs a certain angle. So it's a visual illusion, right? So, um, this is something analog to some... Uh, Geometric problems, visualization in geology. Also, there's the this orientation of planes kind of stuff. So this can create some. I think it's related. So, anyways, uh, here. So this is where comes the anatomic shape key because if I gonna pose this model, uh, which use the universal animal grid setup. Let's get the armature here. Uh, you see that the lips have no volume, right? We can create uh, shape keys for the volume of the lips, right? But they are very basic, right? So it's not super elegant for depending on the character design and the anatomy and all that. So um, what we can do is that we can have, yes, really a constant shape key therefore hence the anatomic shape key that uh, ideally so i need to re retake it because i have changed the mesh and some stuff so it messed it up so it, uh, i need to get it 100 something good looking like maybe something that would be close to this right and then the skinning method the skinning algorithm the armature deform stuff the deforms they will bypass uh, actually this bypasses the skinning method so that means that it will not enter this mesh geometry here will not enter in the calculations of the meaning that we can preserve the anatomic shape key the shapes the anatomic morph they will deform as if they weren't deformed. I mean, they will follow the structure of the regular geometry of the lips, original lips, these lips, it will follow this. And so this is why it bypasses the skinny algorithm. It's not being calculated by it. So it will appear on top, like procedurally, let's say. And so uh, this is crazy because imagine what you can do it's like the, a bit like analog to the idea of a base mesh, basically. So, but it's true shape key, anatomic shape key. So this will be a constant value that uh, we don't touch. We even lock. We don't want to be uh, changing this. We can reduce if we, we can make change, but this is not to be driven, folks. This is really the idea is to make it constant. So we have the uh, we, so, because if I model the lips in complex organic shapes, it's very likely that at least for certain posings, poses of the mouth, especially in a highly exaggeratable setup like that allows the like in the Universal Sonic Mouth rig requirements, 
the lips will go, com go complete. Sorry, it will go completely crazy because it's so hard to for the skinning algorithm to offer it good results. Well, another then this is why uh, binding uh, a mesh with a uh, how to say the mesh mesh deform modifier binding the mesh to a base mesh which is a simple geometry that holds the the right regular geometry so it's a bit analog to that but this is just it's achieved through a shape key on top of a base mesh that is regular the base mesh is the character mesh in this case right so you don't use modifier here object modifier would use the shape key and a special shape key so i don't know if this concept exists but uh usually shape keys we see them as at least from the tutorial right you see them as uh, uh stuff to be driven right for facial expressions or for corrective shape keys we don't see them as a constant thing so this idea this concept i won't only reach that thanks to the Kamau and the the guy who made the available the universal sonic mount rig and, and developed it for blender so uh because there is a in-depth uh investigation of the uh mount rigging in blender organic mount rigging so uh that's it folks that's it for the highlight